Good morning, you guys. I want to make a quick video. Um, I had seen that it seemed as if um, NASA was sending Osiris Rex to orbit the Bennu um, asteroid. I just just Googled it, and it seemed it as if it was like December 3rd. I thought I had like kept the... Um, the story, maybe it's on my other phone, I don't know, but I Googled it again. Um, this is important because I had had a vision of the Bennu asteroid some months ago. So it's, you know, I think Sherry helped me, but somehow in the research, my attention was drawn to it, um, the name the Banu name, I think, is some type of form or derivative of the um, the phoenix, and of course Osiris. Um, we all know. So I had a vision of it, and I think at that time, I think it was coming close to Earth or something. It was a whole lot going on at that time, you guys, and. I think they had sent Osiris to take pictures of it. I don't know. So December 3rd, when I saw it again, that they were trying to orbit it, you guys, the names of the, uh, you know, of the NASA spacecraft and, uh, of course, the, the asteroid is significant. And so when I saw it, I just saved it in my phone. And I said I was going to look at it and see what's going on. Well... I don't know why I was on Richie from Boston's um, page, but, uh, well, I had seen it. I had seen it, but I didn't, I hadn't looked at it, so I went back to find it. He had put out a video about how black goo was found in Osiris's tomb, and I'll leave it below. It's pretty interesting, you guys. Um, I've had two dreams of black goo. One was of... A guy going up some stairs and he said the 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 key to the Tower of Babel is black goo and also another one where a guy had black goo on him and also in that dream there was a guy who was um, I knew he had been transformed into part man part AI because of black goo um, so I looked at it guys this is a very interesting video um and in this video also i mean the goo on it you guys it's just um it, it makes you think um i thought about the black goo as it relates to the story in genesis how the tower of babel was built with i don't know brick or clay and tar and when I saw the word tar, it made me think about this black goo. Um, you know, it may have been literal tar back then. Um, I think I had did the research on that. It seemed like it was made of like the same thing that we make our asphalt of. But the same black type substance may be the key to the Tower of Babel um, in these last days. I know black goo is going to play a role regardless. I know they're spraying it in chemtrails, so on and so forth. Um, I think I mentioned the story where a lady uh, from the CDC had was looking under a microscope at a cell, and it was regenerating itself. It was mutating, um, and she was shushed <sighs> to keep quiet about it. Um, you guys, you have to watch it. It's very interesting. I don't want to spoil it. It's pretty long, but it's interesting. There is one more thing. He mentioned the word Prometheus in that video. And it reminded me that during the time that the Lord had me talk about the African roots movements and why we need to um, be careful of the things that we follow because 
voodoo comes from the West African, we could be thinking that we're, you know, focusing on heritage, but some of these things can be rooted in witchcraft or, or whatever. You need to, if you're going to follow these types of things, the same thing as with the Hebrew roots, which can be more than likely rooted in Hebrew mysticism. Um, I had seen around that time, someone had sent me a face, Facebook friend request and they had the word Prometheus in it, like on a, on a meme. And of course they were, you know, they were into the Egyptian gods and so on and so forth. Probably unbeknownst to them or no, not knowing the significance of this. So when I seen this, I forgot to mention it around that time that I did the video, but I had, I had had an audible probably over a year ago. Um, and I didn't make a video of it because the research that I found wasn't, you know, I did a quick couple searches and it, I really didn't see why I was hearing this as an audible. And I still haven't done the research. <laughs> But when he mentioned that, um, it just reminded me of the audible that I had. I think I was dreaming or I was waking up. Um, I had shared it with Sherry, and um, it seems as if maybe she had shared some information. I don't remember. I need to look it up, and I need to see the date. But, you guys, I just want to share that with y'all. I'll leave Richie from Boston video below. I don't want to spoil it. Um, I know that it's been um, rumored that people like Angela May, I mean, Teresa May and Angela Merkel, one of the two or both, have homes that are built where black goo is. And I think also the bushes, okay? They have some type of land or area where black goo is. Um, I don't know what to make of all this, but I just want to share that information. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about. Uh, speaking of space, um, someone put out a video about Saturn is not what we think it is. And the thumbnail of it reminded me of a dream where Saturn came, was come, Saturn slash Jupiter. Um, I don't know which, it was like the combination of the two planets had come in so close to Earth. And I was like this because it swept down and did a loop or something. And the thumbnail shows it, the graphic in the thumbnail of whoever's, who's ever video it is, shows it like super low on the horizon and I can't find the video for nothing. I wanna watch it, see what it was. Um, seems as if maybe God is true. Her daughter had some type of a dream, very similar at the time. Okay, God bless y'all. I'll leave the video below. I'll talk with you later.